Today I want to share with you the work that we did together with ESA for the Open Space Innovation Platform, OSIP. ESA, the European Space Agency. This project was about validating how the adaptive density minimal surfaces can be used in brackets for space applications with the benefits of lightweight of re-entry in the Earth atmosphere so that you don't have big clumps of metal uh, falling down to the Earth. There is a PDF, I will link that one in the description below. We made a bracket use case where we proved for vibration, thermal shock and different behavior in plane and out of plane directions. Such a bracket uh, will have to take a lot of load from the acceleration during the start of a rocket. We tested that. We made a digital twin. We simulated the computed ADMS structure for the required loads. Then we 3D printed it. Shout out to EcoParts in Hinville for making this aluminium bracket. Then we worked together with the University of Applied Sciences and Arts of Northwestern Switzerland, especially the Institute of Product and production engineering. There we made a ASA certified test setup on a vibration table where we had high G loads on our bracket in different directions. We measured the response of the frequency. So you see the green line is our simulation result. Below you see the test results of the actual physical test. Frequencies match in the harmonics pretty much. I show you how you could achieve a similar result. Let's take a look. Here we have some fixed points where we need to attach the bracket to the surroundings. Basically, this is where you screw the bracket down. Then we will have an envelope where we want our ADMS to happen. And I want now that the ADMS grows to these two surfaces inside of this envelope. All right. So I defined for these boundaries that I want to have a hull thickness of two millimeters. So this will thicken up two millimeters. The ADMS should blend in on this surface with a wall thickness of five millimeters and a distance of eight millimeters. I have prepared four different versions here so that you see the differences. So this is a defeated envelope I showed you in the last video. I will use that turned on and turned off to produce different results. A constant density of 8 volume percentage of the envelope and I have a thickness field where I also have different versions. One with a constant wall thickness of 0.4 millimeters and one that will change here. We will have thicker wall and here we have a thinner wall. With the defeated envelope it looks like this. So we have this spider webby outcome. Here we can inspect our uh, blend distance and our hull thickness. I turned on the variable wall thickness here. Here we should have this three millimeter wall thickness. And you see that here and then it rapidly goes back to 0.4 millimeters. If I turn off the defeatured envelope, I get these volcanoes again and I still have left the wall thickness here to be varied. And this looks pretty much similar to the one that we did in aluminium. Last but not least, we have one with a constant wall thickness. This is a quick overview on how we controlled the satellite brackets. I hope you liked this video and see you next time.